Hi, my name is Emily Bayanelli, and I'm going to do some readings. I'm from Tea Girl Angel, and um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, so I'm going to try to do them all. Um, the first one is titled, Our Life's Journey. Our Life's Journey. We all are here to live our lives. We learn from our parents, our caregivers, the ones who love us. We learn from our teachers. We learn from our friends. We learn from our experiences. We learn from our mistakes. We learn from our accomplishments. We don't always know what our true purpose is. We learn as we grow. Life is an experience. Life is an adventure. Life is a journey. Life is a challenge. Life is a gift. Life is a joy. Life is a mystery. Life is a wonderment. Life is pain. Life is heartache. Life is tragedy. Life is sorrow. Life is laughter. Life is sadness. Life is filled with tears. Life is filled with joy. Our friendships are our connection to others and a way to come outside ourselves. The ability to express ourselves is our very survival. We must stand strong. We must have faith. We must believe in ourselves. We must believe in others. No one truly knows us. Sometimes we don't know either. We all learn as we grow, experience, and share. That's just the way life is. I don't have the answers. I have many questions. I have my thoughts, ideas, feelings, emotions, and theories on life, and our constant evolving into who we are and become. Life is forever learning. We all have our struggles. There is no escape from that. We just have to find our inner strength. We must realize that life has its complexities, problems, and battles. There is no such thing as perfection. There can never be. We are here to enjoy our life, to hopefully meet someone, to find happiness, to share a part of us. We will need to take on life's responsibilities we will need to find our way. We will need to stay focused. Sometimes we will just want to hide from others. Human nature is a reference to how we think, act, and feel. We exist for a reason. We answer to God. We try to live good moral lives. We will on occasion sin. We can't help it. We are not all the same. We are different. We should never be judged unfairly or criticized for being true to ourselves. We are wonderful. Just think of a baby, how beautiful they are, filled with innocence, totally dependent, sheer perfection. There is no greater love than the love of a baby. It's purely miraculous. There is no greater joy. Love can be complicated filled with many different emotions. The only love that stands the test of time is the love of your child. That is the greatest love of all. We will always hold that love close to our heart. It's an unconditional love, a love that lasts for eternity. We must learn and grow so when we are ready to become parents, we can show our children the way. Life is being connected. If I could share my feelings on the joys of having a child, I would say that it is, without a doubt, the greatest gift you will ever experience. Life is about love. The simple things are the most wonderful. Appreciate your time here. It does not last forever. There will come a time we must say goodbye. It's inevitable. It's the plain truth. It's a fact that we sometimes try to avoid. 
but it is the plain, simple truth. We can't change that. We all must grow old. We all must die. It's hard, and the hardest part is not knowing. The loss of a loved one is the most painful thing we will ever know. There is no escaping it. It's just a part of life. That is why we must be strong. We must be able to balance the happy and the sad times. Life has its ups and downs. All I can say is live your life. Enjoy it. Make it count for something. You are worthwhile. You are special. You are beautiful. You are you. Don't be afraid. Be the best you can be. Go out there and find what it is that makes you who you are. Never look back. Be bold. Be colorful. Be true. Live your life as you were meant to. It is your journey. Life's journey. Our journey. Embrace it. Emily Ayanelli of Tigo Angel. And now I have three entries that are each a name. The first one is a, a writing I did for a friend who thankfully is okay. Uh, she has her ups and downs, we all do, but I am in touch with her, thankfully. And I title it, Taylor. Oh my dear friend, where have you gone? I read your message in disbelief. I tried to contact you, no reply. I can't help but worry. We are friends. We always will be. I am here for you. I always will be. I hope the news is good. I patiently await your communication. I am beside myself. I tried to hold on to hope. I need you. You made me smile. You have a sensitive and beautiful way about you. You are a girl in every way. I understand you. I know your pain. I am here to listen, to lend my support. I don't have all the answers. Trust me, though, when I say I do care, I just hope I hear your delicate voice once again. I wish to see your smile. You're an English girl who struck my fancy. I miss you. I wish we could find the strength to be true to ourselves. Life is fleeting. Don't let the ignorance of others steal your dreams away. Be strong. Live. You deserve to be you. You're a beautiful young girl of 19. Be happy. Be safe. I love you. You're in my prayers. Emily Ayanelli of Tigro Angel. The next writing is about a music artist that tragically died young at the hands of someone else. And I was always uh, a fan of hers from when I learned of her. But sadly, she's gone. But her music lives forever. Her name is Selena. And the title is Selena. Selena. As I listen closely to her beautiful voice, I can only wonder why. Why her life was tragically cut short. She had everything. She was beautiful. She was talented. She was pure. She was every girl's dream. She was every guy's desire. She was a pure joy to see and hear. Her music touched us all. I will sadly never know why she had to die. Why so young? She was just starting to blossom. Her music had rhythm, style, and grace. I can only wonder what could have been. She was a star. She was loved. She was sweet pure and innocent. She was perfect. Her voice was angelic. It sounded so perfect. It sounded so natural. It sounded so uplifting. I cry because I know what happened. Why did it have to end this way? 
She was just starting her climb to fame. She was a true performing artist. She was loved by all. She had a charm. She had a message. She had style. She was one of a kind. She was a fighter. She was admired. She was a joy. Her music lives on. Her image fresh in our mind. She will never be forgotten. She will always be missed. Her music will play on. God bless you, Selena. Emily Ainali of T Girl Angel. And the next one is me, actually. And it's titled Emily. Emily, I want to hold your hand. I want to tell you I will be okay. I want you to be my friend. I want to open up to you. I'm afraid. I have no one to talk to. Sometimes I feel down. I want to smile. Sometimes I just want to cry. I can't help it. I feel all alone. I don't know why. I feel isolated. I feel trapped. I want to run. I feel sad. I can't end this pain. I just want to learn to accept myself. I know I am in a good I know I am good in my heart. I want to laugh again. I'm tired of the tears. I wish it was that simple to be myself. I just feel this deep sense of guilt that just won't go away. I don't know why. I never did anything wrong. I just am different. Does it really matter? Aren't we all different in some way? If I could tell you my secret, would you still be my friend? I feel I can't share this with anyone. I trust you. I depend on you. Will you understand me? Will you judge me? Will you stop being my friend? I just want to be me. If I can't, then I just don't know what will be. I may go. Where you ask, I don't know. You may. It's not my fault. I just have these feelings. I'm afraid of people. They have hurt me. They turn their backs on me. My friends I thought were friends. My sisters I thought were blood to me. My family relatives I thought loved me. Why? I don't know. I think I know. Oh yeah, it's the dress. For some reason the dress scares them. I need the dress. I live to be me. I am a girl. I am a woman. I am transgender. I am a transsexual. I am me. I am complicated. I am a husband. I am a father. I am a son. I am a brother. I am a person. I am just someone looking for inner happiness. I want to be at peace. I don't know what it will take. I am still fighting. I will continue to do so. I don't want to wind up doing what my mom and dad did. They were troubled. I am troubled. They sadly took their lives. Sometimes I have those feelings. I can't. I have a son. I love him. I need him. He needs me. We need each other. I will fight. I will strive to be strong. I will live. I am trying to make sense of all of this. I just want to be happy. That's all. You only get one life. Why is it so hard to understand? I am the same. I am tr just am transitioning. I need to. I have to. It's my life. No one should tell me how to live my life. I am me. I will always be me. That's the truth. I will never give up. I can't. I must be strong. I must be me. I am a good person. I am Emily. Emily, I am Emily. The transgender girl, T-Girl Angel. The last writing which I hoped to have read, I will have to do in another video. It's called a song, but that will wait for another day. I love you all. This is Emily signing off. Emily of T-Girl Angel. I love you all. My fans, my friends, my son, my family, all.